Hey, how's it going? So I have another unboxing. It's gonna be from Guai Guai Chai. He had some of the missing spots that I wasn't able to get a hold of from the Labs Raw Plus pre-order drop. So I'm super excited to check these out. So there are these little resin skulls in the box. It's just multicolor, so it's like purple and orange. And then this one is gonna be red. Super cool. And as usual, we'll start off with the stickers first. So I got a few of these Guai Guai Chai Pig stickers. We got two green, one pink. We got two sheets of grip tape, and then two of these big sticker sheets. Oh, that's a lab sticker. Two of these big sticker sheets from Guai Guai Chai. They look like they have the same stickers. Super cool. And then we got a few Lab Wheels stickers. So here's this rectangle one, this one right here. And then the two that I had gotten from the Lab Wheels Raw Plus Drop. There's the one with the music notes and this one that says Lab Wheels. And let's start off with the extras first because I think this thing is really cool. So this right here is going to be the Office Series Kicker. So it does have a little USB port that you can plug into a wall outlet or the little the block, whatever it goes in, whatever that's called. And we have a few spots where you can charge stuff, SD card slot, whatever TF is. I don't know what that is, but I think it's really cool. Okay, so I'll take this out, that way I can do a 360 without that wire getting all over the place. So there's the side with the bank. On the outside of it, we do have this brick pattern right there that's in the concrete. There's the top, there's the bottom. It does already have non-sliders on it. And then on this side right here where the bricks, it does have Guai Guai Chai right there. So that's really cool. Yeah, that's cool. So unfortunately, I was not able to get a hold of the Barts. So I'm still missing those from the drop. So if you've seen the last unboxing I did from Labs, they did come out with a new shape, which is gonna be the Raw Plus, which is gonna be a very, very big wheel. And in that one, I was not able to get a hold of three of the colorways, which were gonna be the Barts, the Ghost Glows, and the No Name. However, Guai Guai Chai did happen to have two of the three that I was missing. Yeah, the Barts still eluded me, so I'm on the lookout for those ones. So we did get, and yes, again, I got three sets, one for me, my girlfriend, and my daughter. We got the Ghost Glows, and we got the No Names. Oh, the no names look so good. So let's take a closer look at the no names and the ghost glows. So we'll put these over here. Whip out the chair of showing. So if you haven't ordered from labs before, this is what the packaging looks like. We've got a clear baggie. When you get them from labs themselves, it does not have the name written right there. This is something that Guai Guai Chai does. Got a little bit of information on the back. I didn't read it in the last unboxing for whatever reason. It must have slipped my mind. Like I said, I was really excited about these wheels. So the text on the back, it says professional wheels for fingerboard, bearing lock system, high precision bearings, high quality polyurethane, suitable for all types of surfaces. Thank you for visiting our lab. So we'll start with the no names first because I think these are the ones that I was looking forward to the most. Well, no, that's a lie. I was looking for the NRGs or NRG Xs. These were number two. So here are the no names. They're going to be a more of a transparent wheel. They're not necessarily clear. They're like a clear yellow or like a dark clear, if that makes any sense. If I remember the description of the wheels, it said it's just the pure polyurethane with no color or anything added to it. So that is, I don't know, I guess polyurethane color. Anyways, what I really like about transparent wheels is, so a long, long time ago, I remember I was in fifth grade or maybe it was sixth grade but on the tech deck website they would say to look out for these special tech decks that had gold trucks and clear wheels so every time i saw clear wheels it just reminds me of like that's like the chase thing to get for a fingerboard one of my first sets of bearing wheels they were clear so that's why i like, I like these no names a lot is they remind me of fingerboarding from back then so these wheels super cool i do have these wheels in the micros as well and i think that's it so i have the micros and the raw plus so yeah those wheels i think they're super cool up next we'll go with the ghost glow mainly because that's that's the only other color that 
I got so there. So here are going to be the Ghost Glow, which they kind of start off as like this foggy white color. As the name says, they do glow in the dark, just, you know, not for the camera whenever I'm trying to show. But we'll hold it up to the light. Maybe something will happen this time. Do I think so? I don't know. I guess we'll see. But while I'm letting them hang out in the light, so I've been using the Raw Plus for quite a while now. I think they are fantastic wheels. Well, I just actually started using the Symbionics. I've been using the NRGXs for a while. And then the Rare Whites on the other deck, on the 129 deck. But so far, um, and that other one I had talked about the quality of the wheel where some of them had little air bubbles, which I did forget to check. So I will look at these wheels a little bit harder um, towards the end of the video. Are y'all happy? Very, very little. It's faint right now. Oh, well, so it in person it showed pretty faintly, but uh, they, it, the, this light does not work as well as the sun does. I think it's really cool. Glow in the dark wheels. Even though it doesn't show on camera very well, um, I do have these in the legacy shape and they do glow very, very well. I don't know why I put them in the bag. We're supposed to take a closer look. So something that I am happy to say these wheels are exactly what I would expect from labs. I don't see any air bubbles in these ones at all. So these Ghost Glow, perfect. These No Names, however, and I don't know if that's something that you can realistically control. So something with the No Names, which are going to be that pure polyurethane color, and it reminds me of like a diamond. So if a diamond has any impurities in it, you can definitely tell. So on the inside, and I, it's going to be really, really hard to show up on the camera, but the inside of the wheel, there is an air bubble in that. But I don't think that's something that he can realistically like make sure that there's none in there because when you buy it, that's kind of how it is, I guess. So with that air bubble being in, it's completely inside of the wheel. Nothing's like poking outside on any of the surfaces, so it's not going to affect the performance at all, but that is there. And then on this wheel, almost microscopic. There's just one little bubble. That's what I see on that one. That one's good. And that one's good. So I'm not too familiar because the clear wheels that I had, they were made, they were plastic wheels. The other ones I had, so they were like completely fine all, all the way around. When it comes to like these wheels with all the dark color in them, Obviously, I can't tell if there is any of those bubbles in there like you can very, very clearly tell with the clear wheels. You'd only be able to tell if it's on the outside on the on the colored wheels. Yeah, uh, it ain't gonna affect nothing. Even with these minor imperfections in the wheel, again, I, I'm pretty sure it's so hard to control the little air bubbles inside every single wheel. I'm super happy that I got a hold of them because I'm really, really enjoying these raw pluses. So something that I did forget to say at the beginning of the video, this office kicker that was thrown in. Thank you very, very much. So this was my most recent order from Guai Guai Chai. As usual, I'll have the link to his website as well as his Instagram down in the description below. That way you can stay up to date with whatever he has going on, which I definitely recommend. Go check out his website. He may have things that you're looking for. And I'll have my Instagram down in the description below as well. Give me a follow. I do go live from time to time, usually around the weekends, later on in the evenings. However, that'll do it for now. Take it easy. Have a good one.